everyone, I'm Milk. I'm Elliot. And welcome to the Trophée Regional International Costume, Costume Competition. Competition. Where we will be kissing or crying the looks from the main stage of the Grand Prix series of figure skating. Ooh, We've had camera problems um, because True we're YouTubers. YouTubers. True YouTubers. This is great. This is good. So, from the Atari camp at Mambo 75, is that the rink? Uh, Anna Sherbakova. That is not the name of the rank. Totally is. First of all, Anna Sherbakova is skating to Firebird. Second half Firebird. First half, I think it's Eric Satie, Gymnopodi number one, oh, two, or Jim three. Oh, Into Firebird. Into Firebird. Okay. What is that mashup? I don't know that that really makes sense to me. I don't know that it really does. Uh, but the showstopper of the series so far, really. A dress reveal. Dress reveal. Is this something we haven't seen before? No. Has it As been done well this done. well? No. This is this is the best a dress reveal has happened Absolutely. in figure skating. It made me gasp. The first time yeah. I saw it, mm -hmm. I wasn't ready. I don't know that I was ready. She came out of that. No, she was mid-spin, and she casually like let it fall. Yeah. I thought it was stunning. It fell so nicely. Yes. It just, and there wasn't a struggle to find the clasp, to find the Velcro. We didn't hear the, you know, the like struggle. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what made it so successful is yeah. that it was easy and seamless. Into a gorgeous, gorgeous red and gold. Red and gold. For but, Firebird. However, however. What do you got? The tights and the skates. Oh, here we go. Can we talk about it? Comment below. How you feel about tights and skates. If tights are gonna go over skates, completely. Right. Not a halfsy situation, right? Because what are you really trying to say? What are you trying to say? That, that it's your foot or your it's heel that you're in is skin? <laughs> right. I mean, just what are you trying to that say? That your heel is skin and the front of your foot is a skate? <laughs> well, is that when girls have the tights over the boot, are they saying, this is my foot? I, is that what they're saying? You think it makes your foot look more pointed? Mm, right. Because there's only a bit of like your longer. skate showing? Uh -huh. So comment below what the deal is, because I don't quite understand. I it. think that is the theory, that it like elongates your leg. It like continues your leg line to the toe, and it's just one skin tone to the bottom. But it, it's so obviously not the shape of a human foot because it's a skating boot and so it looks odd and you end up looking kind of clunky. And in the case of Anna Sherbakova, who her free leg turned in lines is really cringy for somebody so gorgeous on the ice with flexibility and limbs for days to have this foot that seems to have no real articulation through the ankle to draw more attention with a white and skin tone foot, just not the right move in my opinion. Not the right tight move, but the correct costume move because I give Anna Sherbakova a kiss. I give her a kiss as well, but point your feet. Point your feet, hon. <laughs> Next up we have Elisabetta Tutamisheva from the Mishin camp, Professor Mishin that is. He's a, a, a professor. Of skating, of, of uh, physics. I almost said chemistry, not chemistry. <laughs> physics. Physics makes sense. Right. We're throwing ourselves in the air. Totally. Maybe he could teach me a thing or two. He probably could. Here she is in this sort of bossy-esque Okay, totally. Bossy, vibe. jazzy lady. Mm -hmm. Sitting in Vegas. Yep. Totally, we see it. We see Very it. Vegas. Very Vegas. Very Vegas. The red gloves obviously are my favorite part mm -hmm. of this outfit. They are rhinestoned and they have like a the like a dip dye the hand dip dye dip, dip, dip dye, dye hand dip black to red transitioning. <laughs> she is somebody who her skating is very hand choreography focused. She's not somebody who really puts a lot of choreography with the rest of her body. One could say so to have the bright red gloves it makes sense. I think that that is kind of highlighting something that she does. All the time. Yeah. Use her hands. It high and it also highlights that she does not pull her arms behind her body for her two triple axles. Two. The girl's got two triple axles. And one in the short. So I might even correct you to say three. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Triple axles. Totally. Also, around the boots, that mm. strap mm. under a cream 
boot is not yes, right. Is not the is not the tea for it's me to, tea. to 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 mesh with us. <laughs> yeah, and you know now that you mention it, the the tan of the skates with the white of the shirt is really kind of bugging me now. Yeah. And then you bring in that the ice is a different shade of white. My mama always taught me white on the ice. Really tricky because either your your look looks messy and dirty or the ice looks messy and dirty and we're not trying to disrespect the ice, are we? Never! So, I love that. Yeah, thanks, mama. That has stuck with you. <laughs> Truly. I will also say her specific costuming journey, this is a world champion we're talking about and when she won the worlds in 2015, she was wearing this kind of amorphous, no shape, just kind of connecting from the arms to her waist. Sort of like a bat wing. Bat wing. That much yeah, fly a dolman sleeve. Right, dolman. And uh, I think that that was kind of a disservice to her. Like, she should be celebrated for the skater and the body that she has. A and this looks great as yeah, far as, like, her looks, body looks great. Yes, she she looks really, really good. She really gets a kiss from me. A kiss. A kiss for any. Elizabetta. Elizabetta. All right, next up at Skate America, we have from the U.S. of A, Miss Brady Tunnell. Brady Tunnell. In a striking red short costume. Uh, Tell me about it. I, I really, really love this look. I think it's geometric, it's yeah. graphic, the red is beautiful. I'm really into the cut of this skirt. Totally. It, it seems edgy for mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. I bet the first time she tried it on, she was like... It seems like that is kind of the direction that they want to bring Brady. They bring in Benoit, who is a very modern, uh, angular choreographer, and they put her in an angular, sharp dress. And I think that, that they are trying to edge her up. I think that they know that she isn't the edgiest skater and isn't the edgiest girl. As evidenced, perhaps, by her hair story. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Yeah, the, the hair is a little uh, Sarah Plain and Tall. Okay. The, the braid, it, Brady, I <laughs> see what she's trying to do there. <laughs> okay. You're not fooling us, uh, We got it. We got it. You're like, Bleh. If it's not to America's Next Top Model to me, mm -hmm. I think she needs like a Taylor Swift, like, Chop wa choppy, wavy bob. Mm, totally. So you're seeing like loose down here. Yeah, just wow. so. Hey, Miss. <laughs> for any cat ladies out there. Overall, for this book, I give it a major kiss. I think I give it a kiss, too. All right, next up in Las Vegas, we have... Kaori Sakamoto. Of Japan. Of Japan. And these Japanese ladies are really... Women. Women. Women are really so amazing. I'm super, Truly. I really enjoy watching each and every one. Absolutely, a lot of focus is on the Russian ladies because they are obviously a dominant force, but Japan is not to be counted out. They are equally as dominant, I would say. And in other areas, their skating skills and their artistry is gorgeous and something that they focus on just as much as the jumps. Kaori, in her long program, is skating to the Matrix this year. Everyone loves a soundtrack. Like, in more the skating, than they should. In the skating world, an OST is where it's all at. I have to say, I'm not the hugest, like, movie soundtrack person. Okay. Matrix is iconic. I kind of see it. We've seen it on the ice before. I don't think we've seen it in a while. We haven't seen it since Brian Joubert. Is that true? Uh, it's a Brian Joubert Matrix number. We all know that. I mean, let's not start on Brian We don't have to get to Brian yet. Uh, yet. <laughs> oh my god, what a dream about. The back is... This beautiful slick, slick, yes, mm. wet, oil, wet. I like the complementary hard and soft of the slick, patent, wet back with the mesh arm and mesh sleeve, which you can see through. So it kind of complements the really hard back. This is the way I love to see a skate. Mm. A beautiful white skate with mm -hmm. no tights over it, nothing, yeah. just because. We're, you're skating. Right. You're not fooling anybody. We know you're in skates. We know you are in <laughs> those skates. Right. So it's just like, clean your skates, girl. Right. And, you yeah. know, get new laces. Get the laces. Don't, don't show me those dirty laces. If you can't wash your skates in a way where they become lighter, get the tape. I've seen yeah. you do this. Yes, I... Do you whiten your I, skates I, with I taped, tape? I taped my old black skates, but now... Thank you, Jackson. I have received mm. a custom pair of mm. Jackson Ultima skates. Spectacular. 
spectacular in all white. And never yeah. did I ever think that I would have all white skates. Like right. that is like a skating gay boy's dream. Can you true. think of a more no-no in the skating world? That, yeah. Girls don't wear white skates. I'm sure some of you out there are like, a boy in white skates? Hell no. Absolutely not. But look at me, I'm doing it. Get your white skates. Keyboard warrior over there. <laughs> okay, so I give this look a kiss. I'm gonna give it a kiss too. Yeah. Next, taking the ice in the Orleans arena, we have Unsu Lim of Korea. Of Korea. Another nation that is truly charging, storming the girls. Com coming in hard for Russia and Japan. Korea has a lot of girls coming up with triple axles and triple triples up the wazoo, and she has been the national champion. She's the it girl for many reasons. She has star power, mm -hmm. more than words can say. Kind of some inner demons that keep her from nailing the programs as she should, but she has a lot of things going for her. What do you think? So she's skating to this, this Spanish theme. Capriccio Espanol. And she comes at, what I love is that she is wearing this vibrant royal blue that is sequined. To die for. Obviously. The I color is gorgeous. I love the and very different for sort of that Spanish feel. Obviously you mm -hmm. think of like red all the time. Right. But then she has that little red in her hair. Mm -hmm. I think the cut of the dress is amazing. Really. Shows off her beautiful back. Flare at the wrist. The flare at the wrist. I give Yunsu a, a kiss, but I'll give it a kiss too, but we do need to talk about the other program on the line here. The long. Tell me about the long sweets. <laughs> <laughs> the long program, uh, it, it's like a cream nude with a dark rhinestone feature. I'm gonna say Amazon applique. Yeah, it looks like it all Cheap. came in one, yes. One bundle like of applique. Yep, yeah, you iron it on. Her short is a complete kiss, but the long We're gonna is a the definite. Long. We're gonna give it a cry. Yeah, we're definitely boo crying. Boo, boo, boo. 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 <laughs> but we love you. Keep it up. Such a star. Your limbs fall asleep just so fast. Just sitting. Next on the ice at Skate America, we have Wakaba Higuchi. Higuchi, Wakaba Higuchi. She is skating to Sia, Bird, Bird Set Free, Bird Set Free, I believe is the song. Great song, so happy to see somebody skating to this. Okay. And her specifically, she's taken music risks before, and this is very like on brand for her, I feel. Cute. I really like this look a lot. If I didn't know that she was skating to Sia, maybe she's skating to like Moonlight Sonata. Totally. I was gonna say piano. It's giving me like a Rachmaninoff. Mm. This would be like beautiful for a classic Rachmaninoff. Mm. I'm not getting the like modern, fresh Sia thing. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, Sia does the like white, black, kind of like contrasty thing. So maybe that was their inspiration. But then they also introduce kind of some ombre, like the white isn't just stark white, it has right. the black feeding into it, so it kind of does lose that Sia feel. And I don't I don't know that I'm buying this for the number. Oh, but I, do you like it as a costume? I love it for a costume. Uh, I'm getting a weird skirt view right now. <laughs> so the, is that skirt, lace? the skirt, the lace is not lace. the tee. See the under layer of the skirt, the black is Cute, but the under lace layer is maybe not the one. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a cry. I think I'm oh. crying right now. Oh. Help me, I'm crying. Oh, I'm crying, crying. hold Cheer up, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss this look. Okay. I I think there are more things about it that I love. Mm -hmm. Give me the modern dress for Sia. I'm sorry, give it to me. All right, so you cried. I oh. think I'm crying. Do you need Tears. tissue? Um, <laughs> well, she's still an amazing skater. Right. So. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> So next on the ice at Orleans Arena is Ooh. a USA lady. Truly. An Olympian for the US, Karen Chen. Karen Back Chen. at it again. Uphill climb, she, I don't think she competed last year. She is really kind of making a run, maybe a last run for it. And uh, we see her in a cranberry, maroon, sparkly dress. Yes, I know a lot of money goes into skating costumes. Mm. A lot of money probably went into this dress. A lot of thought, a lot of hard work. It's a beautiful dress, but it looks like it's from Del a catalog. <laughs> yeah. It looks this... like one of those dresses 
that is yes. like it's like it's the a Bell Arbor, dress. the yeah. where they like they have this dress in a couple different colors, mm -hmm. and it has the like little lines of the stones. The shape of it is a catalog dress. Catalog dress. That that is a shape that some person decided that that was a dress that looks good on everybody. Right. When that is not the case all the time. Okay. It looks beautiful on. I think it looks good on her. Yeah, it looks beautiful on Karen. She's a national champion. She's is she a national champion? I don't. I know. I think she's a national champion. She's an Olympian. I don't think you get the off the rack dress that maybe you just like threw a couple extra stones on. I don't know that that's what you do, Karen. With a spiral like that, I yeah. don't know. I think you need a special dress. Yeah. She's skating to like a modern pop song. I think it's even like a Christian pop song that like made it to the mainstream radio. Um, I just think it's it's uh, it's kind of a snooze for me. I don't know that I'm really buying it. It's so generic. I'm gonna give it a cry. Yeah. I'm shedding a tear. Yeah, I'm I'm shedding. Shutting a sad tear about Don't it. Don't worry, let it cry. Yeah. We all need a good cry yeah. every once in a while. <laughs> I have a cancer. I like to cry. <laughs> let them flow. So unfortunately, we got two Nothing tears. But tears. <laughs> Nothing, Nothing but tears for you, Karen. Right. But your skating is amazing. Keep it and up. you're gorgeous. Keep it up. So keep going, baby. <laughs> what are your thoughts? <laughs> Deviating from the ladies, we have some dancers to talk about. Dancers are known for their costumes. Yes. A I, dancer yourself. I, I was a nice dancer myself. Rhythm dance was always really fun to play with because you're given a, a specific theme. What is the theme this year? Musical theater. Right, it's, musical theater shows. We are going to be talking about Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue. The Americans. The Americans. The national champions. Champs. The Olympians. Olympics. World medalists? World medalists? I don't know. I just Fact go off check. of what you know. All right. I feel like they did finally get their world medal last year. I'm pretty sure. I think they got the world medal. We here are stands of Madison Noble. I trained with Maddie at the Ann Arbor Ice Cube for many years. And uh, she is, I still, I told her this before, and I still maintain, she is one of the most technically proficient skaters that I've ever seen. And I would even say, like in person, when you're sharing the ice with her, it really comes across. Her, her knee bend, her strength and power as a skater is so impressive. And I have always loved her skating immensely. Let's get into the look. Yeah, though. let's talk about the look. Their choice for the ryth rhythm dance this year is a, is it Smash? Is that the TV show? <laughs> is it Smash? I think so it's Smash. Smash. I think it's Catherine McQueen. <laughs> show me the receipts. The dress. Tell me about the look. It's, I like the top half to her waist. Which waist? So the drop waist? The drop waist is not, I, I it doesn't like work in this waist. situation, I don't think. I think I know what they were going for. I unfortunately don't think it works. The detailing, if you look at it up close, the detailing is very beautiful. The stonework, the beading, mm. all of that. Beading. Maddie's mom, Susan, Hi Susan. Hi Susan. Hi Susan. <laughs> Susan's made me a costume before. So she cute. does incredible stone and beading work, hand work. She's spectacular. And so I know that without seeing this dress up close, I know that up close this dress looks really impressive and is probably stunning. I don't know that it really reads that way from a distance. I think you kind of lose some of the detail and it ends up looking like um, Kind of an off the rack bridal dress. Yeah, I'm getting bridal. Yes, it, it definitely has that bridal element to it. Especially in ice dance, since you are skating with a partner, then you have to take the partner's look. Zach is wearing just dark a white, dark blue, a, like a blue blue white. white, right? But she's in the cream. She's in a cream, so it makes her look dusty. Yeah, dusty, old, vintage, vintage, vintage. Right. So unfortunately, as much as I love them, and they are. They're gonna Love. kill it this season. Yes. I think they could do better. I think it could be done better yes. as well. And so, that being said, unfortunately, tears. I'm gonna shed a tear. I'm gonna yeah. cry for this one. Crying. Mm -hmm. Hopeful we, tears? Hopeful. hopeful tears. Exactly. Ooh, see, it's better up close. Yeah, it's beautiful. 
All right, so Elliot, we have just wrapped up Skate America and the Trophée Regional International Costume Competition. competition. Do we have a major standout? I think my top look is gonna be Sherbakova costume reveal. Okay. Mid spin, let me see the second costume in one number. I'm here for it. Love the costume reveal. I'm into it. I don't know how into it I'm gonna be after seeing it for maybe the eighth time this season, but for now, I'm sold. Right. Can costume reveals stay interesting throughout the season? Stay tuned. My top uh, kiss was Brady Tunnell. Totally. Yeah, I think she looked amazing in that red. I thought it was a cool, cool look for her. Maybe just change up the hairstyle. So right. we'll see if we get- Room for growth. Yeah. Or We're not chop. Growth. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining us and make sure to tune in every week at the Trophée Regional International, International Costume, Costume Competition. Competition. Bye. Thank you.